you guys, welcome once again to the One Coin Only Arcade Challenge. I know I say this way too much, but I'm excited because we're playing one of my top 10 games today. We're going to be playing Wonder Boy in Monster Land on the arcade this time. I've done it on the Sega Master System before, but this again is the best version. So let's see how we can do off one credit. And we'll, we'll make some chit chat while we play. There's a hidden coin bag here somewhere. Cool. I'm trying to remember all the secrets. First of all, the reason this game works so well is it's an action RPG game that's fit into an arcade experience. And it's just done so well. To this day, I really don't, in my own humble opinion of course, I don't really know any other games that have done the same thing. You know, you have your platforming, you go around attacking enemies, but rather than grind for experience points, you've got to collect coins. What these coins allow you to do is stock up on your items so you can buy and upgrade your boots that allow you to jump higher you can upgrade your armor that'll obviously allow you to get hit more and you can upgrade grade your shields that'll defend against you know ranged attacks um, and you can collect new swords as well although they, they come in boss battles and they're very difficult boss battles so that's the catch on that one but yeah, you basically progress as you go along by collecting money and upgrading your gear. It does get really, really tough, and item management uh, is important in this, and you, you basically have to adapt to your playstyle. Some of you guys might rely on the armor more than your jumping ability, for example, so you only have so much money, and as you've noticed in the bottom left of the screen, you do have a time limit, so you can't go around griming grinding so hard because you'll run out of time, you'll lose a love heart. So item management definitely plays a big factor in this and you have to spend your money wisely as you'll see. I think boots is pretty important. If you can't platform properly you'll waste a lot of time when you miss jumps. So this $80 pair of boots will actually keep you going for a long time. That's my suggestion anyway. You don't want to backtrack too much like this. As I said, you run out of time very quickly. I oh, know, but you just get so addicted, addictive finding all these hidden coin bags and stuff. The time's about to run out, but I've got it just in time. See, if you, you find an hourglass, you reset your timer all over again. So you do, you do get rewarded in this for being quick. As you've seen, I've been playing for a couple minutes now, so playthroughs are pretty generous. It's not just a... as long as you have a little bit of practice and a bit of skill, I have to admit, I do play this game quite a lot. But I find the playthroughs quite generous. I think even the very first time I played this game as an 8-year-old, I didn't do too bad. We're not going to do the... Oh, we'll just jump in quickly. We don't really rely on the hidden secrets so much this playthrough since we're only using the one credit. There is a boss battle in here. I'll show you what it's like. This is a boss battle for one of those weapons that I was telling you about. Oh, damn. The good news is... Um, off your first credit, when you very first start the game, you do get a medicine potion, so if you lose all your health, you'll get one free refill. What doesn't make sense is every time you add an additional coin, you don't get another potion. But, it's a nice buffer to start with at least. This game just has such a cool hybrid of elements as you can notice. It's so much fun. done some careful platforming, collecting our coins, and we've got another boss fight. I also love how many boss fights there are in this. There's nothing better than a good boss fight in an early arcade game. You need to get an early start in this guy. He can be quite tricky. Jumping all over the place. Oh, this is terrible. I wouldn't get past this guy. Very, very tricky. It's going to make the next level very difficult. Now we're in the castle. It means business. So 
we've all, almost got enough money for some armor. There's a hidden door where you can buy armor in this level. Oh, I don't want to do that too often, do I? So hopefully if I grab a hold of it, I might make it past the next boss. Oh yeah, with so little health, it is a big ask. Maybe I can find a medicine potion from somewhere. I'll have a look. Maybe I'll get that instead. But again, you don't want to spend too much time exploring. Oh, you actually can uh, buy some health, I forgot, if you decide to have a drink. Nothing like a good cocktail, right? I should be able to buy some basic armor for about 60 bucks. So we're good. That'll buy us a little bit of a buffer. from me. <laughs> right, yeah. So there is a shield, no, it's not a shield store, an armor store in here. Don't ask me how I remember all these secrets. I used to play this so much years ago. So we're going to make it to this next boss battle. I'm not confident I'll pass it, but we're going to try. they have a lot of hit points. As you can see every boss has a jewel in the middle of its belly which kind of changes a different colour depending on how many hits you've hit him. Um, once the jewel starts to go orange and then red you can tell you're pretty close to defeating him but unfortunately that's our credit on. Thank you so much for joining us for one of our favourite games today. Um, if you like what we do please subscribe and let us know how you do off one coin and we'll see you next time.